Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 30 with me, Mr. Sidney P. We're into October, and as you can see, top right, and from the footage you've already seen, compost was my friend massively. We're up to 402,000. We covered the cost of buying the refinery. We made a load of money selling the, side, uh, selling the compost. Compost prices started to fall again now. So we took advantage when the price was high, which is you know, what you're supposed to do. Uh, we've got more hops to sell now. I've got stuff scattered around all over the place. But what we have also got is a load more contracts here. We'll go back up to that one there. Uh, and we will go to growth. As you can see, loads of fields ready to harvest. We are in the process of a cotton harvest on field eight. So big field's going to take a long time. I've already got a worker going on that. Uh, we've got a cultivating contract ready to go on field 21. I've got the cultivator there ready to go. That was a weird one. That was cotton as well. That popped up. All of these fields went ready to harvest, including field eight. That came up as a contract. That one went ready to harvest, harvested, bang, immediately. Same as field 12, just didn't pop up. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, so if we go down to... Oh, we've got a contract on field uh, for sunflower on field 16, I think it is. Uh, hops, like I said, we've got ready to go. If we go down here to our refinery... Everything is going great. We've got 16,565 litres of diesel. I haven't got to buy diesel again for a while. I can just fill up from there. We've got a load of wood chips in there. I went round off camera up around the top farm, cutting down not every other tree, but a few, just to get some more wood chips in there. Everything else has run out. So the potatoes I put in there, the canola, sunflower, that's all gone. Any more we get from contracts, I can put in there if I want to. But I have to say, diesel, I thought maybe I could sell it. As it turned out, the compost was on a great price. The compost was what made the money on that. Um, we've got a bit of methane there, diesel. But pig food, 36,000 litres, or 36,856 already. So as far as a pig food production and compost production, that's what that did in spades. Now, admittedly, if I'd have gone down and used these ones here and done canola oil, soybean oil, any of those ones, yeah, I would have got way more diesel. This one, I'm getting a whole load of things. That would have been my diesel production. But I've got enough diesel on hand that I won't have to buy any. That's all good. So, what are we going to be doing? Selling the hops. I'll see what my top line is after I've sold the hops. Then, we are potentially going to... Oh, I was way off on that. Uh, we're going to buy a field. Now the field's got corn in it and it's ready to harvest. It's not cheap, but I said we're going to get to a point where we've got a bit of money. I was, I think it was going to be the wood pellets that would be that, but as it turned out, the compost has done it for us. When the wood pellet, I think the wood pellets are back over a thousand now. I'm going to wait until the price comes up a bit more before I start selling the wood pellets again. The other two, acetic acid and what was the other one I was waiting for? Uh, can't think off the top of my head. Um, the price just keeps rolling forward. Every time we get to a new month, it jumps ahead a month, jumps ahead a month. So price for that hasn't come up yet. But acetic acid, I've got quite a bit of that on hand as well. So I'm going to take a punt. I'm going to buy the field. We will harvest it. It's field 11 is what I'm going to go for. It's not massive, but it's within our budget. And like I say, it's already got a crop in it. So we'll be able to get the crop off of it. That'll all be ours, which is good. I was kind of looking at fields that hadn't come up very often for contract work, but in all honesty, they, like I said in the last episode, it seems to be on a kind of rotation. It's a bit odd how that seems to be happening. Okay, 441,000. So, we are cooking on gas, people. Cooking on gas. Let's go. Field 11. Ready to harvest. Corn in it. 
Shall we do it? 361,000. Field eight. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's buy it. That's ours. When you look at that, oh yeah, that's our thing as well. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Come off that. Um, that's the next thing I've got to do. Or the end. By the end of the episode, I need to head up because if we go up to there and no, nope, there. Look, weeds are back again. That's the third time I've had weeds on that field. I'm gonna have to go back and weed it. I think. Or I hope they're not more adult weeds. I think they're youngsters. We'll go up and we'll give that a go. So this will go back because I've got a cultivating job. I've got my harvest up with the new, our new header, our corn header, but obviously we're doing sunflower. We will get to some corn with it because we've got our own field now. So just over a year, a year through on hard mode, we got lucky with some pricing, I'm not going to lie. I all th thought we were going to be knocking on nearer Christmas before we would make enough money back there would be a point we could buy another field but we've done it we might be getting a new production coming to the town um, Daddy Gaz hats is, that, is, is what it's going to be um, straw hats and what's that thing it straw hats and baskets I can't remember what it is now we might be getting that I'm not sure and again that's going to depend very heavily on pricing so I'm going to pull up just here we have got a load of peppers, we have got eggs, um, milk I took up. We've now got three pallets of sheep cheese up there and we've got three or four pallets of honey ready to go. So yeah, we've got stuff all over the place. The weed, uh, actually I'm gonna drive up with that and then we'll get the cultivator going. And then what I'll do is I'll whiz over and we'll get the harvester going on the sunflower contract we've got, which is all over there on field 16. That's where our lorry is at the moment as well. Get all those going. Yes, I'm, I'm losing money because I'm hiring workers, but the money we're gonna make back, fine. And I also know if I absolutely had to, although the price isn't fantastic, um, I've got so many, um, I'm actually gonna we'll have a look now. I started loading my trailer up when the price started to plummet. And I haven't really been past here again since. There should be one pallet just thrown on there. That was the errant one that was out on the, the uh, train. As you can see, I've got some I kind of put on there already in the price drop. That's the spare one that was over on the train. Got these here, and then we should have 271,000 litres of pellets waiting to come out. Um, so if I needed to, if, if I thought like, the cost of hiring workers were getting a little bit much, I can just take a few of the pallets and that to sell if I want to. So, not too early. Oh, the other thing I put in was, what was this? Um, this is an egg cell point. This was part of... Oh, man, what pack was this part of? I can show you, because it was under production and it was under cell points. Um, because I thought, well, it seems we've eggs and there's places we can sell them. Oh, it was under the chicken coop. Chicken coop large, the mod I've got. Um, the, the egg cell point came with it. It's only 500, so I thought I'd place it up here. It's up near the farmer's market. Pricing was pretty good for eggs on there, so when we got a few more eggs, we'll bring them up. But all is good. I'm not going to focus. I'm, I know uh, the last few episodes I've been kind of, like I said, I've been chasing that, that those finances, and it was all a bit kind of doom and gloom. I was a bit, you know, a bit down in the dumps with it all, but it's all right now. This I will move in a moment. I just want to get this going first. I'll do one row around the outside to get that going. And then we'll whiz down over there. We'll get that going. And like I say, the cotton I got going early because um, I thought it needed to... Oh, I've just realised something I haven't done. That's better. I hadn't done my time. What I normally do when I go through the night, I will speed up time to go through the night, and then I, to, so contracts don't suddenly disappear, which they sometimes do, I turn it down, and then once I'm ready to go, it goes back, time goes back up, and I, I forgot to do it. I know I do it every now and again, I forget. So, uh, 
apologies for that. Push control on. It's not a massive field, but I think this pays about eight grand. And now we've got our own uh, cultivator. It's all money in my pocket. It's just the time it takes. Obviously, there's taking off the cost of hiring the worker. Um, the other thing as well, and I, th I suppose that's why the wood pellets. Uh, thank you for heavy, <laughs> heavy metal gaming. You messaged me the other day. Uh, was it the weeding contract did over from field? What field was it? I want to say nine. Yeah, the weeding contract is over there. I think it worked out. I paid more in hiring a worker than I actually made on the on the contract. Hey, Heavy Metal Gaming messaged me and said that, and I said I probably did. I didn't really even notice. And he said, hey, they got families, they got to eat. At the end of the day, like I say, I'll, I'll sell some wood pellets. I hired a worker, paid him some wages. He can put food on the table. It's all good. I didn't even notice, in all honesty. Didn't even notice. Oh, well, that was something else to say. Um, I was watching, it was quite funny actually, with the, the impending release, what, two weeks away now, isn't it? Two weeks away for the Platinum expansion, which is going to be heavily foresty, but obviously there's going to be other stuff that's going to be available and things you can do, but um, DJ Goham and Clutch Simulations were doing a stream last night. They were doing, like, login challenges. Whoops, knocked over the narrow bridge sign. That's now stuck on my cultivator. <laughs> can I pick that up by hand? I'll, I'll put it back, I promise. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't think I can stand it back up. But put it there. In the grass. Um, yeah, they were doing a load of login challenges and I, and I kind of watched it in preparation for the, the sort of coming out. Um, but also, to celebrate the fact that Clutch Simulations has hit 100,000 subscribers. Massive congratulations to Clutch. I am so close. I'm on, what, 94? 93, 94,000? The only target I've got that I've ever set myself on this game. The only target was to get 100,000 subscribers. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, I know it's a YouTuber thing to say and do, hit that subscribe button. If you, if you, when you go through and you check analytics, it's something around sort of 30, 40% of my viewers, regular viewers, are subscribed. The other 60%, 50 to 60% aren't. If you're watching regularly, subscribe to the channel. It'll make a massive difference. Um, it helps the analytics, it helps the channel to grow. Um, it's an arbitrary number, I know it is, but I, I, would, I just want to have that plaque on the wall that says, you know, you achieved this. So yeah, congratulations, massive congratulations to Clutch. 100k, absolutely awesome. DJ, meanwhile, is storming up. He's up to like 235,000 subscribers now. He blew past 100, blew past 200. Um, doing incredibly well, so yeah. Hats off to him. It's, it's absolutely awesome to see. I love it. And they're so funny as well. I, I love, I know when I did their uh, Farm Sim show, I loved being on there. I just had such a laugh. They're, you know, yeah, a lot of stuff they do isn't always realistic, and yeah, it goes a bit bonkers and a bit zany, but it's fun. It's entertaining, and that's the massive thing about it. I know people often comment, so oh, it's not their cup of tea, and yeah, it's a bit zany and a bit bonkers, and depending on where you're from in the world, I know here in the UK we're a bit more reserved and a bit more, you know, but yeah, they are very entertaining fellows, I would say that now. Right, now I've done the first round, I will set it off. I'm always over there and let's get that. I want to check out the corn header. I have got my cruise control on there set to six because that was another one when it came up to buy. Oh, that was the other thing. Oh, I haven't got enough now, have I? Oh, this is such a gamble. Um, look, the forage pickup. That popped up, 42% off. Now, I use that a lot. If I'm doing straw harvest or any harvest where I can get straw, and also for picking up grass and all sorts of stuff, you can turn any trailer then into a... Now, I've been leasing that every time I've needed to use it, but you know what? I might just buy it. How much is it to change the colour? Go like a Miss P Green. That's 500. Not the end of the world. <sighs> <laughs> okay, Sc scary times, scary times with the finances, ah, oh, that would be good. Oh, that was the other thing I meant to say as well. 
There should be a screenshot coming up in a moment, or um, will it be a screenshot? Potentially. Or what I'll do is I'll probably cut it in like I often do when I show you a... And the map will look like this, that kind of thing. I bought a, a forklift. A forklift came up for... 14 grand, I think it was? The screenshot will pop up in a moment. Um, that's now up at the top fun. That's for moving my cheese pallets and my uh, honey pallets. And I can, it goes at 26 miles an hour, so I can drive it backwards and forwards faster than some of the tractors I own. And I can move pallets around in various different places. Um, it's not a big bale, hand, big bag hand or anything like that. Uh, right, hire a worker. Um, sorry. But it's starting to do the job. So yeah, forklift, forklift, new field. Now we've got the forage pickup. We are becoming a lot more self-sufficient. Not as reliant on having to lease stuff now, which is great. And I feel a lot better now we've, we've bought that um, extra field as well because it just feels more... That, that we've made progress. You know, I know we've made progress. And I know I keep, I, I keep justifying it to myself as much as anything else when I say in the video, look at all what we've done. And kind of look at all the productions. Look at the land we do own. Look at the things we've got on it. Look at the things we've done. All the harvesting, all the crops we've put to one side, all the baling contracts, all the stuff we've been doing. But still in the back of your mind, you think, yeah, but we haven't made field progress and it's the weird thing to kind of gauge it by i suppose progress is progress regardless but now we've got another field and it's a fair sized field so not going to knock it i could have just jumped over here i know but let's be honest or i could have walked but when i got my tractor here it's faster to faster to drive than walking so this is the sunflower contract we've got here on field 16 We'll get the work going on that with our new used corn header. And then when that's all done, we'll get over onto our field 11. I've got to find something to do with the corn now. I need a corn production that's not going to be too expensive. Something less than 40 grand. Because <laughs> I've spent all my money. But that's what it was for. That's what it was always for. Look, oh, that's what I was going to show you. Look, all the wear. I sort of talked about it. Look at all the wear. It was it was kind of there before, but blimey, look at it now. I love that. Let's get to the side. So, worker is going. Sunflower harvest. This was another one. I, I, I was really happy with the purchase of this. For the price, the horsepower, the, the grain tank size. It's one of those ones I keep thinking now. I mean, there are loads I want to use. There's that, um, is it the, no, not the Colossus, what's it called? Um, let's go to harvesters. I think I've got it installed, or did I not install it? Yeah, the Colossus. I want to do a Let's Play and use that, because that's just a monster. Anyway, yeah. So that's now going. I guess the other thing I need to do is, well, hop out and let them get going. Any tidying up I can do. Well, at least the header's working all right as well. It's working all right. I know it's New Holland in case. I know it's blasphemy. <laughs> but it was the same header. It was just different colours, wasn't it? And that was cheap. And it works. So awesome. We're going to go over to the cotton field now. And... I've got the... I borrowed equipment, obviously, because I don't own a cotton harvester. It's the John Deere one. Actually, it might even be on the thumbnail. I'm just thinking... Yeah, maybe. Or the thumbnail. I might take a picture of our new field. But then... It's interesting as well, I have found, how... I mean, I've always known it, of course. But it's interesting how you get people will watch your Let's Plays constantly. So if you, they'll follow what you're doing. They'll follow your storyline. They'll follow what you're doing. Like I do when I watch people's Let's Plays. You know, I'm interested to see how the progress they make in each episode and what they're doing and how they're doing it. And, you know, that fascinates me. But what I find even more fascinating is that as your kind of, as the series goes on, your viewing numbers drop. They do, because people find other things to do. They might find it's getting a bit boring for them or whatever it might be. Especially doing this as well. I'm not using as much new equipment and stuff as I was in the Western Wilds, that kind of thing. But sometimes you'll put up a thumbnail that's got something new or something different or whatever and it gets suddenly gets a load of views 
and it's all down to that thumbnail that people go oh you know up until that point they'd been like oh I'm not too bothered at the moment and then it's like oh yeah that's cool I'll watch that it's, it's interesting how that happens um, if I take a thumbnail and it's just a field with coal calling it I'm not sure it's going to do too well it comes down to what I call the episode as well of course but yeah. What I'll probably do is I'll drop this off at the road going up to our field, and that's what we'll end with. Like I say, we'll get up there and get some weeding done. The cotton contract is going to take a while, and it looks like we've got rain coming. When we stop, I will check the weather forecast. That is concerning. I don't want the rain to hold me up because I want to see. We'll get, I think it's about 30 something thousand for the contract, but I can't remember the cotton contract how much it was to borrow equipment. But, but often with cotton contracts we will have cotton left over unlike the first time we did a cotton contract on here where it wanted me to take it to Spinnery and it didn't work no was it Spinnery or was it to Mount Vernon before it got sort of updated and changed and um, it just didn't work but this one's going to Johnson's Farmers Market so all good there this is our field field 11 and that's the thing, you look on the map and you think, well, it's not that big a field. I just paid 360 grand for it, but then actually when you get out here and you kind of think, the size of my field up there, that I ploughed out myself, this is, um... It's not a bad size field. 100% fertilised, it says there. Your bonus, 90%, 98%. And this is the cotton field. So yeah, this is our corn field that we own, field 11. Lovely. Um, yeah, so I borrowed the equipment from here. Oh, yeah, the weather. I was going to check on the weather forecast, wasn't I? How are we looking? Um, we're good through till 1 p.m. Time's it now? 7.52. How far through? Oh, quite a few bales, haven't we? These are 10,000 litre bales because it's the John Deere harvester. The square ones, the case bales are 20,000. So... Harvest, I'm assuming, to the other end. How far across the field have we gone? Okay. Let's go to there. Oh, okay. Not even a third. Maybe a third? Will we get this complete? It's going to take a long time. I guess what I'll do, I'll take the first three bales. Um, we'll deliver them to Johnson's Farmer's Market. That will give me an idea, percentage-wise, of crop delivered so I'll get an idea for just how much the contract's going to be expecting bale count wise this does three doesn't it three or four let's give it a nudge there we go quite a lot of bales off this considering they're cotton bales and there we go and then put that into its transport position let's get that over and then we'll unload and see what it says so that should give me a clue to how much they're looking for. I did clear out that corner first, so hopefully it'll go up and down, up and down. Then when it gets to that side over there, because the field's an odd shape around the biogas plant area. So that bit has been done. So it should go up and down, up and down. It depends where it is when it hits this corner. And then I'll do a few strips that way, to, so we've got turning room. As you can see, I've done some that side as well just to get it prepped. Now that's either gone past a time thing or potentially another contract has popped up. Nope. 
That one's still available. Yeah, all these bailing ones. That one popped up there. Look, field 33. The temptation to do that. But I've got so much silage on hand at the moment. I don't need it. I did think about going through here and accepting contracts, then failing them just to clear all the bailing ones off there. But they will go at some point. Let's go. As always, double check. So, yeah, 34 grand, but I can't remember how much it was to borrow the equipment. Uh, yeah, Johnson's Farmer's Market, Field 16 is going to Acme, and the cultivating is just cultivating, so I don't have to worry about that. We need to go, should we go straight across then turn right, I guess. Then bung a left, just here. I think it just pushes them off the back, doesn't it? Unload here. Got enough room to open it up? Yep. So we find out. Fourteen percent. So three bales is fourteen percent. Okay, so I can kind of get an idea. I'll do some. I'll do some maths. I'll do some maths on that to work it out. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Uh, right, let's go over and pick up the next three. I mean, what I can do. Unlike um, harvests where normally I try and get 80% of the field done, then go and deliver the crop. Um, with cotton, it doesn't matter. I can leave the bales on the field, but then I've got to go and collect them all. I mean, because I'm going to do three at a time anyway, I should really just go back and forwards and keep collecting them. Which I guess I could do for the time being. Or what I could now do is whiz up and get the weeding done. I say this is going to take quite a bit of time, so... Let's do that into transport position. Got to be careful now, because I own that field next to us. I don't want to drive on that. <laughs> Because I've got crop destruction on. Done that before. It was a disaster. Right, I guess on to weeding. <sighs> I'll see you up there in a bit. Okay, various harvesters and things unloaded. Cultivating, we're still continuing. If I get up there now and I can't do this weeding for whatever reason, Neil, the first two times I had to cultivate. Well, first time is cultivate, second time is seeding with a direct drill. Um, if it won't let me weed now with my weeder, I'm done with weeds. That's it. Me and weeds, we're over. And it wasn't me, it was definitely you. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this works out. Oh. oh, I came up here as well and cleared the stones. I also rolled, I did that in the dark. Um, yeah, so I came up and got a couple of bits done. Mainly because I did it all on this field the first time round, and I thought it wouldn't be, you know, as exciting to watch the second time round. Fingers crossed, I can see them all. 
evil little things. Go away. Now, please tell me I'm not going to damage my crops. We're in the first growth stage. We should be alright, shouldn't we? Yes, let's drop that down. I do have access to this land. Try and see. Can I see any weeds? Yep, there's a load ahead. Are they going? Is the weeder actually weeding? It jolly well looks like it. Let's have a look. So we can find some ahead of us. Yes, definitely. This had better be the only time I've got to do this. I've still been desperate to do herbiciding. I want to do some spraying. Only because I've, I've spent all that time with my... Um, my chemistry shed. <laughs> um, making a load. And then haven't had to do it at all. Not that I own it. Um, herbicide sprayer or anything yet, but I could lease one. Just want to have a go. But then I don't want to leave my field. The problem is that's like my OCD. <laughs> because it's got weeds in it now. I could absolutely leave this field and wait for them to all grow to the mature weeds and then do some herbiciding. But I can't leave it. I looked up at the screen and thought, oh no, the weeds are back. Get rid of them. Yes, they are going. Oh, a weeder actually weeding. Whatever next. Be nice to do this corner without something going wrong as well. Let me hitting a tree or. Whatever else I usually do. What did I put in this in? Barley, didn't I? Oh, we've got a full grain tank already. No, I need to get working on this as well then. I was going to leave this till last and, and then get on to this later on, but I thought, no, you know what, let's get on with it now. We might as well. Well, I think what I will finish off with is getting our harvester over and starting on doing our own corn. But, but the problem is, I think I'm going to get onto that before the cotton's finished. Because the cotton's going to take... Ages. A bit far over there. Oh dear, why am I so happy that a weed is weeding? <laughs> I haven't even tried using the various different hose and all those kind of things. I just haven't. Right, let's get work going. When it gets to the end of the turn round, I will hop out. Let's check on the old Mapadoodle. Why oh, don't know why I just said that. That was very bizarre. Yes! Weeds be gone. Okie dokie then, let's go and unload this harvester and then I will see you in a bit when one of these contracts will be done, whether it's cultivating, whether it's our sunflower, it won't be the cotton. Um, and then, actually I don't think we've got any more popped up yet. I could take on... Oh, hello. <gasps> oh my days. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to do it, aren't I? Of course I am, because I'm an idiot. But think of the sugar beet. I'll get off that. Where's it going to? Acme as well. It's not even going to Mount Vernon, so that should be a doddle. How are we going on the field? Right, well, field 21's done cultivating. <laughs> I think you can guess what I'm going to do. Because I'm an idiot. Which one's field 7? I shouldn't have looked. I shouldn't have looked. Oh, that one there. Right by the... 
and Acme is just there. Oh, she's the big field. Right. You know, I said earlier about um, now we're cooking on gas. <laughs> we are. Um, I think I've gone a bit kid in the candy store. A bit. I don't know if it's, is this how you get in America? The supermarket sweep it used to be a thing in the UK. Uh, you get a trolley and you have to whiz around the supermarket, getting all the high ticket. Basically, you get back full trolley and they price up how much is in it. I'm like that. I'm just like, oh, there's loads of stuff to do. Um, and I did it. I took on the contract here. It will pay 69, well, it'll pay 64 grand, 65 grand, because it's about four grand to lease the gear. And obviously, there'll be hourly leasing fees and that kind of stuff, because this is going to take some time. I'm now racing the rain as well with this too, because this is going to take a while. And I've just got, obviously, the one harvester. I did my my maps. Um, it, I delivered three bales, which was 14% of what it needs to be delivered and it works out 4.666 recurrent 4.7 percent per bale which leaves me potentially 86 percent of the cotton to be delivered 86 percent divided by 4.7 percent per bale means i've got to deliver another 18.7 so basically 19 bales now i'm looking at that field thinking Am I going to get another 19 bales off that field? I'm pretty sure the count at the moment on the cotton harvest is only on 10. And I've already delivered three. Is that seven? Another 12? Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, maybe it is doable. I'm looking thinking, I don't know if I'm going to get that amount off there. Um, and then we've got this. So, <laughs> this I will not get finished in this episode. Absolutely not. Um, the cotton... I'm even starting to wonder whether I will with the cotton. I think what I might have to do is the start of the next episode do a kind of montage type thing. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to work it out. Only because it's going to be real time hours. It's going to be some hours of work now. Just to, Even if I just have workers on these chugging, it's going to be quite some time. Even if I decided, you know what, I'll lease the second half, so that's like 26 grand, something like that. And then the header and, you know, I think I'm, I'm just time-wise just better off leaving it, letting it run its course. But as soon as the sunflower um, harvest is done, I am going to get the harvester over to our field, my, I keep saying our, our and we, I know I say it all the time, that's just how I view it. Um, I'm going to go over to the field and we're going to get the corn off of the field that I own. We're going to get that done. Um, do I want to back onto the track? Probably not. Nothing coming at the moment. Let's drop the header down. Again, just to give it, it doesn't have to be actually all the way around the field. I generally I go all the way around the field. I think if I'm going to go from one end to the other, I might as well do it on the side as well. Uh, do two or three strips either end just to give it somewhere to turn around. It'll probably turn around over that field anyway, but the other side there's fencing and there's the vehicle shop and that kind of stuff. So I'll do probably three or four runs across that way and then we'll set it off. Actually, let me check the field because I think it's always better to work out. It's pretty much square, isn't it? I was thinking, am I, better, am I better off letting it run up and down that way or that way? I think that way it's slightly longer, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll be looking there. Not even halfway yet, so I think we are going to be all right for bales. <laughs> so, um, yes, I've lost my mind. Have I done this before? Of course I have, of course. I always lose my mind, though. I see the, the numbers, I see the money, I see the things. Oh, I can't pass up on that. Oh, let's do it. And why not? Another awesome piece of machinery. Awesome engineering involved to get it to do what it does. Very clever bits of equipment. Oh no, we've gone gone off. Gone off on a tangent.
Right, so then, just gone quarter past 11. Contract in field 16, as you've just seen, is now complete. We had just over 5,000 litres of sunflower left. Harvester is now here. Looking a little bit dirty than it was earlier. Uh, cotton contract, 14 bales produced, 12 I have delivered. So there's two sitting on the field, waiting to be collected. Sugar beet harvest, the harvester is cracking on. It fills up so quickly though. Um, so I'm going to have to try and keep on top of that. Now, we turn our attention to our field. I have to say, and I was saying about this earlier, I feel like this this step of the field, and then obviously getting the couple of bits of equipment, the forklift, we've made huge progress. That was all off the back of that compost. That just gave us a bit of a boost, a bit of a lift with what we needed to do and needed to get. And again, I know I'll keep going on about it, but the same thing will happen when the wood pellets are ready to be sold, the acetic acid, those things will get another big boost. When we get that big boost, I don't know whether it'll be a chance to either upgrade upgrade our harvester, maybe buy another plot of land. We need to pay some more off of our loan. I know that much. We haven't paid much off the loan recently. We're going to need to do that. But before we do any of that... Turn that on. Let's get crackalacking on our corn. Oh yes, our corn. On our field. I mustn't forget, the field is done. I'm gonna fertilize first. I'm then gonna mulch. I do need to check as well while we're doing this. Let's check all the relevant information and see for field 11 let's go across to growth that's good soil composition and we have to take all the stones out of it for a start uh take it's going to need plowing we know that and it's going to need liming no it's not showing lime that's good it's definitely going to need, need plowing though um we didn't buy a plow did we we leased last time so maybe that'll be the next large-ish purchase i suppose um I might go for the slightly more expensive of the two. I've been using the Rowley Christie 1 mod, uh, and I think the other one was... Oh man, one's blanked, and the other one's blanked. The R Shabba. It'll be in the description when I come to use it. Um, oh, another, another Superflex header popped up there. Um, what one is it? That one, the 6MT, 9MT, I think I'll get a 9. We've got the larger tractor, the, the Massey, although it's a little bit slower, but it will still do the job. And that for 8, or that for 17. That goes to 6 metre, that will do, will be a bit more expensive to go for the 9. But you know what? I think that might not be a bad idea. Yield on this should be pretty good. And the fact that... Like I say, on the map it doesn't look that big, but it's a fair size field. I'm really happy with this purchase. And so, we come to the end of another episode here on Griffin, Indiana 22. We're reaching that tipping point, I think. I know it's hard mode, and I know we, we have struggled at times. Not as much as I thought we would, but we, there have been a couple of points I thought I'm just not making enough progress, I'm just not getting anywhere. It's a kind of hand-to-mouth existence. But I'm just... Next month or so, October, November, maybe into December, I think that's going to make all the difference, I really do. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, remember, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.